Hey guys, what's up? It's Edge Light, and I'm gonna bring you another tutorial today um, about 3D Stroke. It is a really cool program. I mean, not program. Um, plugin for After Effects, and it's I made I actually made you guys some presets that I've uploaded. If for those of you that don't have the plugin or don't know how to get it, um, it's really cool though. They you can do millions of stuff with it. So let me just show you what it kind of like looks like, and it just draws an outline around the sky that's for like a scope or here's an arrow kind of made an arrow for you guys I made an arrow a circle and a triangle and you just overlay them into your um and then I have a how to use them in here but I'm gonna explain to you guys how to use them too and also I'm gonna explain to you guys how to make these presets right now so what you wanna do is you wanna have I only have like a 10 second composition just to show you guys what's going on but you can also add this on clips so you're gonna right click new solid make sure well it doesn't really matter what color it is but I prefer black so if you're black solid now just go ahead and go effect and you're gonna have trap code and I have all of them there's a lot of them so you're gonna you're gonna wanna have star glow and 3d stroke because star glow makes it look a lot better um, but 3d stroke is just this and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a circle one right now so it has a million presets that you can do like a bunch target lines all the stuff I mean like I don't really use this but basic circles what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do today so you have your basic circle it just stands there that's all it does right now but what we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna have this and we're gonna keep the thickness so what I always do to do this is I actually got a preset from Rob Taser and I have it under here 3d stroke by Rob Taser and I just drag that right on see the problem with it though is it has is it already has a um, I can link you the tutorial where I got this from uh, it has a uh, however it has a 3D stroke on it which makes it look stupid because it's a different type and I don't want that that's what it does that's his uh, thing but uh, I don't use that so I just delete that right there but with the glow on and this is the glow there's glow right here this is what makes it glow and that's why I said you're gonna wanna have star glow because with star glow it adds all those effects and I mean it's not much it's just I mean star glow is just normal stuff like this I don't think he even changed anything really I mean he just change these colors a little bit and I mean they look nice give them that I mean you can change them if you want to there's not much to change shadows make green red looks nice to me <coughs> so got our um, got our glow it makes it nice so we'll just keep those down there and I'll link you guys the tutorial where I got that and so you guys can watch him and he can explain it me better than I do if you guys like it but uh, we got a 3D stroke, so let's work on that. So the first thing that I always have to do is there's, an, there's a thing called taper right here, and just enable it. Click down and hit enable. And that just makes it look a lot more realistic, and uh, you'll see why in a second. So now what we want to do is we want to keyframe it, whichever way you want. So I put the end down to zero. So you want to put the end down to zero, enter, yeah, end, and click the keyframe button. Now I go forward about two seconds, and then I bring it to 100. So now what I want to do is I want to see how long I want it to be. So I go ahead and I want to keep about that long. So what I'm going to actually do is then you hit click uh, the start keyframe, click that at one second, and then I'm going to drag that just a little bit faster, so like right about there. Or actually let's go to three seconds, so it's proportional. And we drag that to 100. So, oh, that's 96, 100. So as you can see, this is all it does. It just goes around right there. That's the, that's exactly what I did for you guys, and that's it's not hard to do. It's really easy. And you can also the other thing I wanted to show you guys was um, we'll hit none, and we'll just unkeyframe all these. You can make your own. So just take a mask, and we'll draw an arrow or something funky with this. We'll just draw a little zigzag up, over, up. And I like to do is crop. Oh, not minimize that. Control Z, and just add a keyframe across. So now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go taper, and I'm gonna actually change the thickness. To be honest, end thickness, start thick, and start thickness can be up, end thickness can be down, and we're just gonna put one all the way up, put end all the way up, so you can kind of see what it looks like. 
And um, what we want to do is just mainly adjust the keyframe so it looks like an arrow. It's not hard to do. Just drag that down. Drag that in. I don't know if we need to keep that the same. We can just take this, pull it up, and then we can just pull this in. And there we go. There's a rail. Arrow. I should say. Looks good. So now what we want to do is do the same thing we did. And we're just going to go ahead and go down. End keyframe. Two seconds. Bring it to 100. Go back to one second or however long you want it. Hit start. Go back to three seconds. And bring that to 100. Or you can do this for a cinematic, which is what I would probably use it for. And just not even do the start. So you're just going to have... You can have it animate in like this, so it just animates into the arrow, and then it points to someone's name or something like that. And yeah, I actually made you guys an arrow in um, the preset pack right here. There's an, there's a triangle, a circle, and an arrow. And um, I'm gonna upload that for you. And so now I'm gonna show you how to use them in both Sony Vegas and After Effects because people really don't know how to use it. Some people are challenged, I guess you'd say. But um, let's just go ahead and use the circle one, put it on a scope. So we're going to want to go in right there. And uh, I should have a clip somewhere. Uh, um, okay, I'll just use a three feet on high rise like my last tutorial. Um, drag that right there. And it's actually already in a perfect spot, so we'll just add it there. I'm not going to show you guys that you can motion track it how you want to, but so we're going to drag it on right here. And as you can see, you want to make it sure it's above the later, and as you can see, it just makes it black. Use an effect called color key over here. Type in color key. Just drag it onto your uh, circle layer and go right here and just drag this down. And it's not going to look good, so we're going to bring the color tolerance up and just bring that up to about 121. That's what I used. And it still looks good. And you can just track it to whatever you want. Maybe add a little bit of edge feather here. Doesn't look so thick. And then you, you all you have to do is just motion track however you want. And it it makes a circle around the scope. And that's how you use it in this. So. And now once this closes, any day now, and it's not responding, which is always great. Oh, close. All right. My Vegas opens up pretty fast, so got that now. I'll show you guys how to use it in this because many people don't know how to use it in Vegas. For you people that use Vegas. I'm a nice guy, and I'll show you how to use it in Vegas. And we'll just go ahead and do a circle again. Right click here, insert video track. You can just drag this up, and I'm actually going to drag one down. And um, you can just delete this audio track, hit U on your keyboard, and delete, and then delete this track. Oh, okay, it's up there. All right, so now again, you can either, well, what most people I mean, would think to do is change this to add. But, I mean, it actually works. I'm going to be honest, it actually does work, but... Uh, what you mainly probably want to do is just it looks good. I mean, you can still, you can do that if you want to, I guess. But uh, where to source alpha? Um, use chroma here. Drag that on, and again, once it loads, just drag it this little thing all the way down. Ta-da! And in Vegas, it's a lot easier to drag it down. You got your thing. All right. So it's been only an eight-minute tutorial. It's not too long, but it's a uh, it's simple. So. That's basically what I wanted to show you guys. Um, that's all basically. I mean, to download that, you just type it on YouTube. You know how to get trap code suite 11. That's what I have. You get all those things that I had. So um, feel free to uh, comment on what tutorial you want next. Um, I think I'm thinking about maybe just doing some common tips and uh, hotkeys and stuff and After Effects that many people don't know about. But I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, please drop a like and a comment. Thanks, guys. Uh, see you later.